Okay, then it's initiative. Did we hit it at all this round? Yes, I uh, Yes. Um, Fuhr hit it. Fuhr's hit it twice. I'm the only one who's hit it. Okay, so, I mean, if we're hitting it, then it's not a big deal. Okay, cool. Then I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, it's not a big deal until it kills Fuhr. Then it's going to pick someone else to kill. It's okay. I used my one healing on him. He's got it. <laughs> that was actually my only healing spell, by the way. Oh, that was man. like a, oh shit, I'm fucked <laughs> spell slot. I do have a minor wounds horizon, so I'll just have to look up what that does. Um, maybe we didn't discuss this, but uh, whatever spells you pick for the day, you can cast interchangeably. So Bontini. you get four first level spells, you pick four first level spells, and then you can cast any of those four in any order you want. I feel like we did, and I completely forgot. No, that's Thank fine. Thank you for the reminder. I find the biggest boon of it is you just get to pick more spells, because a lot of times, as a cleric, you're like, I take all Cure Light Wounds as my first level spell, so I have no other choices. Yeah, but no, that's good to know. Thank you. Which means I need another first level spell slot. Okay. That's also why I butchered the... Uh spontaneous casting for clerics got rid of the level adjustment because i found clerics were just being abused by the party it's like okay we'll just use all your spells to heal me so that i am not wounded yeah it, clerics are supposed to heal well it's, it's not so much that it's um when we first started playing third edition uh, my girlfriend was playing a cleric and she was highly intimidated by kenny and jameson so <laughs> If they told her to do something, she would just do it, and then she'd go into combat, and she'd blown all her best spells, healing them out of combat, because she could just spontaneously convert everything, and then she sucked in combat and wasn't having fun, but she also didn't want to pick a fight with them, so I just changed it so that it was less advantageous for her to do that, so they were like, oh shit, that only does D8, that sucks, well, let's do something else then. I see. I see, see the joke yeah, there was I barely heal any cleric I play. Yeah, I am a uh, combat cleric most of the time. So if you, uh, unless you're doing something super important in combat, you better survive till the end of combat and I'll heal you then. But I'm not wasting my action healing you. I think the only time I ever did that in Lake's game was to heal you during our duel and to heal Brad's character. Um, his psionicist was just leveling the playing field when we uh, stormed the beaches in uh, um, the big war. Remember when we were attacking the city? You were just sitting there watching us while we were doing it. Um, when we were doing that, he had a special power that he could just draw so much extra energy by taking damage every round and he could um nick's character could convert some of that damage and then he got blasted by like an iron golem and lost half his hit points in one round and i was like okay well he's doing way more damage than i am and he can do it at range i'll just stand behind him and heal him <laughs> but once things moved up and i could melee them i just kicked the shit out of them and told everyone to uh do their best All right, does the bird kill me in this round? You got heals, you're fine. Uh, Heldor is up first. It is highly unlikely ha, the bird ha. can kill you this round. You have 27 hit points. The most he can do is 24. Mm. See, this is the... Pr I, I blew my one effective non-lightning attack spell hum hmm. Don't you have oh wait i have lightning i have a magic missile <laughs> always take magic. i have missile. magic missile if you don't take uh, magic see how missile, i will stop giving let's see you how screwed up and just for the record no no, no i, I got magic missile this. we just discussed this with aaron 
whatever spells you took at third level, you can cast in any order you want. So if you took Fireball and Lightning Bolt, you can do two of each, or one of each, or two of one, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll do Magic Missile. I'll do Magic Missile. Magic Missile is probably the best okay. choice, just because there's it, no failure. That one's 3d4 plus 3, I believe, unless you have a bonus. I don't think the macro screwed up. It might be, though. Oh, that's right. Nope, that worked out perfectly. I was just confirming. Okay, so note your damage. You doing anything else? Uh, uh, Are you doing anything else, Haldor? Uh, he would like to continue to just like cry. He is deeply angry. He can't use his lightning. <laughs> yes, he's just crying, uh, petulant tears <laughs> about not being able to just electrocute the monster. He's sad. Okay. But he ends his turn. Well, the uh, monster who, uh, you didn't do your damage, um, will turn around and come back at you, Haldor. This guy's firing off electricity, is it? I took off 12. Oh. Oh, I just didn't show up on the token when I uh, moved it. 25 on Haldor. I am just on fire or lightning with my attack. 13 points of fire damage for um, Haldor. The 25 was the hit, not, oh, not damage. It's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, yourself, I was like, man, you're not dead. <laughs> he killed me. <laughs> Calm yourself. <laughs> Haldor is it's the not all your hit points, it's only half. <laughs> oh. Haldor is the embodiment. He just gave up. He just saw a number like, oh, it's enough to kill me. That has to be damage. <laughs> Well, I, I was thinking I could just cast like a darkness and I could just step in the darkness. <laughs> I just go, hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, Aaron, you're up. Um, This doesn't look ideal for the situation that we're in. So let us go a nice and simple. Let's wild shape. Let's go, you know what, let's go with the original form. Uh, what, what about an Emerald Dragonette? It'd have to be medium size, I'm not high enough for the large. Um, I don't know what the stat adjustments are for those. Hang on, I'll look it up. I appreciate it, sorry. And I'll make a note of it here. So you'd be a six hit dice dragon? Yes. My assumption is the dragonette could fly. Yes, the dragonette okay, cool. uh, flies at 60 good. Um, it has a strength of 12, a dex of 20, and a con of 16. 12 strength, 20 dex, and 16 con, you said? Yeah, that's actually pretty brutal. Um, and then it has an AC of, uh, 20. Is that from five natural? It is from four natural, one size, and five decks. Oh, it's small? Okay. Uh, yeah, at, uh, six of dice is still small. Oh, um, I apologize then. I do not have the small form. Oh, okay. Well, then never mind. Uh, can I ask what the wy the crimson wyvern is? That's six of dice. Uh, crimson wyvern would be largest five to seven, so it's six hit dice. It would be AC eighteen. Uh, flies at sixty four, and it's 
breath weapon would be 66. Fire, I assume? Yes. And um, can I ask? Yeah. Its strength is 19, dex is 12, con is 15. 19 strength, 12 dex, 15 con? Yep. Okay. The um, is vastly superior to that. It is, but uh, really didn't think I'd need a small form yet. Cool. Um, yeah, low level small is one of the best ones, especially if you want to hide because you get plus four for being small. Yeah, I definitely might have to take that next level. What did I take? I think I took Avian. Um, is that what I took? Yeah, it looks like it. Um, okay, so well, yeah. You I should have six forms now. Yeah, I have Avian, Humanoid, Invertebrate for the Ankeg, Magical, Animal, and Mammal. And I say large, large as well. Well, the Crimson uh, Wyvern is, uh, is size large. Yeah, so I'm able to use the large Magical and Reptile for this. Is it a reptile? Yeah. Um, okay. And so 19 is the main difference here. I assume it's a claw and a bite is what the thing gets. Uh, claw, claw, bite, uh, wing buffets, and talons. Or claw, talons, tail slam, and wings. Okay. So your primary attack would be your bite, which would be 2d8 plus 4. And then your wings are d8 plus 4 if you're flanked. And then your talons are 2d6 plus 4. 2d8 plus 4? 2d6. Okay. Thank you. And that was the standard action move action for the 60 feet, I guess, get in its face. And I will have to update my cons, so uh, that was what, 15, so I get another mod, so that's 6 more HP. Okay, thank you. How far did you move? Uh, 40 feet. You have to move at least 60 to stay in the air. Uh... Can I go under him? Uh, yeah. He's not that high up, so you can... Uh, or... He's 30 feet in the air, so you can get under him. Oh, if he's 30 feet, then I guess I'll fly above him. Uh, I'll be 60. F Is 60 up fine for this? Yep. Well, you would... You can only go up 30 feet. Because it's double movement to go up. Okay, then let's just get uh, over here, then. And I assume that's... Well, if you wanted to get in his face, you could just fly straight towards him and then use up your extra flight to go higher. That's fair. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, then we're under fear. Magic missile. I gotta make arrow hawks that have spell turning. Oh. I forget what HP he was at. I think he was at like 30. He was at 40 before. I don't think anyone else did any damage to him. Haldor took him from 52 to 40. Okay, uh, and then I will. That's it. Okay, as he hovers just above a quarter hit point. Tom, you're up. I will waste my action by trying to attack it with the sling. You go, girl.
Oh! Oh! Even with the minus four, that should hit. Yep. Well, let's see if the damage rolls right. I mean, you're knocking them out of the air no matter what. Nope, that's right. Okay, so, okay, well. six, five damage. You doing anything else? Nope, that's the end of my turn. Okay, okay. <clears throat> then we're on to Elric. Is the hawk out of the air now? Nope, it's still 30 feet up. Oh, so it doesn't get fall when it gets knocked out? No, it has perfect maneuverability. It just loses speed every time it drops a category. Okay, well, he'll just come over to me and give me a layout. And that is it. Okay, then it's initiative. What's the speed of a natural attack? Um, there's no speed factor on natural attack. It's just your size category, which is minus four. Thank you. Oh, knocks it out of the park again. That by Drew. Okay. Uh, he will blast you with uh, lightning, Aaron. Twenty-eight. Holy shit. Uh, that, oh yeah, that barely hits. So close. And 20 points of damage. Are your hit points accurate? Um, I got the 6 from the the wild shape, I just didn't change the denominator. But yeah. No, that's fine, I just wanted to make sure. Because when you drop below uh, half, you can no longer fly. Oh yeah, I guess I should add that in then. Okay. Close. Two points off. Yes, very close. That's why I asked if the numbers were right, because if the um, denominator was right, that meant you were out of the air. Yeah. Okay, Fury, you're up. Magic missile. It's it's dead. It falls to the ground. Nice. Aaron, are you right now a size higher? Or uh, a size... Like, are you larger than your normal size right now? I am a large, I believe... Yes, I I'm a large size. I'm larger than normal. I'm okay. a dragon, I believe. You like to be bigger? <laughs> I think my type bigger, changes to dragon, dragon, though, right? All right, if everybody wants to stack oh, up, I'll okay. heal us all. It would be nice, though. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stay in this one because I don't have as good of a reflex. So, um, I would recommend not standing in this. Well, I need to pick up my sword. Why would, Why you, would you not want extra hit points? Well, I guess he's not anywhere near uh, his... Uh, yeah, he does not retain. What's the um, the types for the... Arrowhawk? Is it just avian and... Uh, yeah, is it just a avian, I guess? Avian, air, and outsider. Avian, air, and outsider. Okay. So Elvrick doesn't make his will save. Or his reflex. When you say air, are you talking about elemental, or...? Yeah, elemental air. Oh, oh, oh so you choose a, an element when you do elemental. No, okay. I think there's a category on the table that's just elemental. Yes. And I think by being taking elemental, that uh, counts as the outsider for that um, shape. But there's also a uh, 
celestial form and a fiendish form. I get it. Okay, thank you. Like Joe in the uh, other game, in the uh, Group One game, he's a uh, astral diva, and he has uh, all the requirements to take the angel template. Dang, nice. Aaron, you've made all the will saves. You don't need to... Um, I only made two before. This would be my third. The will save? Oh, you have, I thought you made all five. Um, I, I have... Tome. Yeah, I, I've passed two saves. Oh, is it a will save? Um, add three to that. Yeah, that's not even close to my DC. Yeah, um, I, I have two marked. I think I needed three, right? You need five. You need five. Okay, well, that's the third one then. No, you need five successes. Oh, okay. So, um, you just get the you just get the healing. You trust. Well, I I have two marked to accept it, so I think I've only passed two of your bull saves then. Um, I think you're up 11 temp hit points. Yeah, I don't have to make any more will saves. Yeah, I was pretty sure it was Tom because he's had the most experience with fear. And back when his uh, DC wasn't so ridiculous. Okay, so I think I still... Heal half? Is that the way that works? Yep. You make your... Well, if you failed the reflex save, then you get barbecued and take full damage. Yeah, you get the full 23. Okay. Yeah, the will save is just so that you don't have to make the reflex save. Ah, fireball's coming! And you jump out of the way. Well, if you jump out of the way, you don't get all the healing. I see. Okay. Honestly, I've never... I don't think I've ever come across better AoE healing. I'm <laughs> just throwing fireballs. Yeah, I, I think I've only had to make two because either I've not been in those sessions or B, I'm a coward. That's yeah. real. Toa made a bunch of saves in the first session we played because we were the only two people and I had a fuck ton of spells comparative to him. Mm, makes sense. After that, um, I... Pull out, ah, I mean... I got a fly spin. I might as well stay in it for a few hours. Okay. Well, you can stay in the forum for up to six hours, I believe. Yep. Might as well. I can be a scout, I suppose. Uh, should have decent perception, maybe. Let's see. Any bonuses to it? It does have a bonus. Okay. Okay, so you guys uh, travel on for another three hours. So your temp hit points would be gone by then. I should just start fireballing us before every encounter. How many of those can you cast? Three. Oh, okay. Actually, does with the sorcerer do because I get the extra spell? Can I use that to cast uh, cast any spell, or is it similar to a domain? It's a domain spell. Okay. So yeah. Three. What's your bonus spell? Uh, magic circle versus evil. Yeah, I get Firebolt, so zero, Burning Hands at first, uh, Scene Visibility at second, Magic Circle at third. Yeah, I seem to remember the spells aren't that great. The spells get really good later on, but... What's the first good one? First good one is Wall of Fire, second Break Enhancement I'd call somewhat good. Um... Path of Winds looks like an actually decent spell. Prismatic Wall, Fiery Body, 
fast blade fireball, fast firestorm, and a swift sunburst, and then swift firestorm at 28. Yeah, those uh, higher level ones definitely are good. Okay, so you guys can uh, roll a perception check as you are continuing north. Oh, wow. Everybody makes a check. Um, up ahead on the pseudo trail, this looks like some kind of uh, hunting trail. Um, you can see a weird uh, distortion in the grass. Like a trap is... Ah, I see. Got it. Uh, I fire tilted. You could just walk around, you know. Does my fire jolt spring the truck? Uh, well, you can roll your attack. I love the use oh, of the nat nice. 20. Yes, your fire jolt does, in fact, uh, spring the trap. Okay, trap's not there. We can move on. What kind of trap was it? You have no idea. <laughs> there was something in the grass, and fear blasted it with fire. It burst into flames. Uh, it burned out really quickly. It didn't even uh, light the grass on fire. Why does that point me towards web? Feel like I mean, maybe you could have examined it before you immediately burst on fire. Do you see anything from the air? Um, do I see anything from... Uh, I think I'd be like 40 feet in the air. With a 28. Okay, you want to give me a perception check? Ah, uh, sure. 27. Forty feet up puts you at minus four, so you do not see anything. Okay. I do have one luck bonus. Do I want to use it? No, no, I don't. You've already used two of your luck bonuses today? Well, uh, yeah, it's the same day, right? I used two of them in the meeting with Norman. Oh, no, wait. I used one. The other one we said, but I didn't need. Um, but yeah, I mean, I already used one, so I've only got two left. I probably shouldn't use them before we get to the building. I mean, we're, we have... It's days before we get there, right? Um, you're expecting it to be two days, I think. Mm, then, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll, I'll use my second luck bonus of the day. Okay. You notice uh, creatures behind the trees coming up. I guess I'll fly down to Haldor, take one of my talons onto his head, and uh, turn him at the direction. Okay. It's like the worst one you want to turn. I'm kind of curious how he responds to this information. Haldor giggles like a child when he sees mm, targets for his, you know, zappy zaps. <laughs> well, you can start by rolling a perception check. <laughs> oh, I'll do that too. Valdor's favorite thing to roll. They are very well hidden. Um, I'm going to say with the assistance of the uh, wyvern's head-turning action, you do in fact see it. 
And during the hesitation, uh, we can roll initiative. Holy shit, when did you get a plus 15 perception? You have plus 15 I percent. think I stack. You definitely do well, a lot of stacking. Maybe I get check. Yeah. I, I... Well, it's cross-class I skill for you. Oh, no, it's because of the wisdom. You don't it's have the wisdom. plus 10 in wisdom, yeah. though. I don't. I do not have plus 10 in wisdom. Um, At 6th level, it, your max the wisdom... are 4. And then your wisdom on top of that might get you to seven or eight. What's your wisdom uh, bonus? It's, well, I was meaning to send that over to you. I don't know if I made a mistake or I typed something wrong, but uh, like my, my base wisdom is 15 and I have like, like I don't, I have a. You have a plus. Three I have plus nine eight. there. I don't, but I'm. So you have okay, an eight plus three. Wisdom. Okay. So that's plus four. So your perception, you have five ranks in it, which is illegal. You can only have four, and then your plus four on top of that, which would oh. bring you to nine. You have any other bonuses? Uh, to perception, I shouldn't be. Okay, so you're only plus nine. You sent me a copy of your character, um, your fourth level character. I don't know why you would send me the fourth level one, um, but it's still full of holes. Alrighty. Very holy, yeah. That's the closest to divine Haldor is going to get. Yeah, he's got eight ranks in cross class <laughs> heal it, fourth level. <laughs> Now, to be fair, yeah. I told him to send it to me and I would look at it. I just didn't get a chance to look at it. But now that I have looked at it, I have come to the conclusion that uh, it needs a lot of work. <laughs> I guess since he... Yeah, would... I need to go through it. If, if we're going to say he fails to see it, I guess I'm just going to use my other claw and like hit Tom on the head and like, try and do the same thing with him. Like, look. Use your eyes, man. Claw, claw, claw! As this, is just, as this wyvern is just, as this wyvern is like using both of these people to stand in the sky. Okay, Tony, okay. you can roll your uh, perception. Yeah, I was the wrong person to choose. Yeah, but I'm hoping you at least stop moving when I put my claw on your head. You're the best person to choose. What are you talking? Okay, uh, if you're, you're gonna see. Uh, the the talon from Haldor move over you. I you better hope Haldor doesn't have any lice. Okay, well we're we're already. At I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure already in this. Uh, I'm sure my antics has already told them they're spotted. Yeah, when you guys hesitated, I said, okay, now we'll do initiative because they're going to know something's up if you guys stop and start looking around. Yeah, I just wanted to dance on their heads a bit. That's totally fair. I just want to dance on their heads a bit. That's fair. They really do. Damn, they're excited for this. Okay. So while you are playing uh, musical um, head Heads. talent, uh, the uh, Edder Cap will move out from the bush, and the lead one will attack Toem. Thirteen, hit your touch, AC. Yes, I believe so. Okay, he uh, hits you with a web of lies. The second one moves out and webs Heldor. 
<laughs> wow, that's definitely a hit. So you two are um, entangled. Two down, three to go. Okay, then it is Fears Go. Okay, yeah, I'm going to use my chain missile. So it's a magic missile, and then it chains through to the sky. Okay. And it casts at 64 plus 6. So they each take 23 points. 64? Oh, yeah, so it's... Uh, to a maximum of 10 missiles, uh, one missile strikes the primary target per two caster level to a maximum of 10d4 plus 10. What level is that spell? It is a third level sorcerer wizard. I have linked it in the description from the spell compendium, page 44. I just thought it was a uh, magic missile that did extra damage. Yeah, that's a lot of missiles. That's cool. Well, I guess for a third level, it makes sense. Some pretty neat shit you can do with it, but for fighting two people, it seems really strong. Shouldn't it be eight? Oh, wait. With your staff? I... Uh, wait. I might have did that wrong, because I'm cast... At the very least, you have your staff, right? And it's not at least 8th level? No, it's per 2, so at 10th it's 5. Oh, then... oh, okay. I thought it was per level. My bad. No, per 2 levels. And then I... What did I say casting? It was 6 plus 7. Before you said it was 13, so that's right. So one more d4. So 25 points. Oh, the second one only takes D4? No, the, they both take the full damage, but I forgot to D4 because I cast it at uh, a level higher now because of the staff. Gets yeah, 13 is still only, D, only 6. Is it? Okay, then I will. 13 have... divided by 2 is 6.5. I don't know if, it, if it's 1, 3, 5, then yes, it might be no, 7. No, it's just every 2 levels. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is a ridiculously potent creature. Yeah, very nice. I'm just waiting for this thing also be immune to electricity so Haldor can actually start crying again. <laughs> he might actually just walk away from this mission. All right, that is it for me. Yeah, I definitely have to write that down. What? Oh, we're about missile. to be hit by so much of chain missiles now. Chain missile is a really potent spell. I like it. When I saw it, I'm like, I want that. Yeah, being able to do 66 pl or 64 plus 6 to uh, two targets is pretty nasty for a third level spell with no chance of missing and no uh, uh, save. Is it only two targets, or is there, does it scale? Well, you only get 12d6 at the level he's at. Whether you put 66 in one and then 66 in the other, or the 66 into five or six others, is up to you. Mm. Yeah, so but like the if damage there was... is capped. The missiles, All the miss missiles ricochet once. Yeah, so I, I see, okay. If there's four, I could split it into 3d4 plus three on two targets and hit four targets. So if there's three, you can split those two and have them all yeah. ricochet to the one in the back. No, the only the ricochet can only get hit. Only one can per, ricochet per target. Oh, okay. But like you can do some crazy shit. Like if there's a bunch of low level knobs that can die from say one d four plus one, you can just slaughter a fucking town of innocent people or civilians. Hmm. Very cool. I'll look cool. into that. Yeah, like the way it works is each, if you split it, each missile ricochets, or if you have it one, like, big one. Yeah, no, very cool. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. That's pretty cool. Sorry to stop the game. 
Yeah, the funny thing is my version of Magic Missile, the Greater Magic Missile, does D6s plus one. So it would still probably be vastly inferior to that. Yeah, if you want to change it or anything, just let me know if it's a little too strong. Um, I'm going to have to do some research. I don't think it's too strong. I just think that it's going to cause a lot of whining because um, everybody already whines about Magic Missile. <laughs> start using like, it on... I, I start pelleting players with Magic Missiles and all they do is fucking whine and it's a first level spell. <laughs> Magic Missiles. <laughs> Magic Missile is like a staple for wizards and sorcerers. Just cast shield. Like, the spell literally is cancelled off by the same shit as Ma a Magic Missile gets cancelled out by. That's actually a good point. I feel like I need to start bringing Potions of Shield with me into ad adventures. That's a good idea. You can also buy a brooch of shielding. Oh. I'll look into that. Yeah, that's what uh, Paul's, like, 20th level swashbuckler did. He got sick of being pelleted with magic missiles because he was a parrying master so he almost never got hit in combat except for things that automatically hit like magic missile so he bought like 20 bracelets of uh or brooches of shielding and uh put on a new one every combat <laughs> or just get a permanent spell spell immunity magic missile put on you yeah, that's great, except it only applies to Magic Missile. It doesn't affect Chain Missile or Force Missile. Yeah, that's true. That actually works very similar to Force Missile, which is a 6th uh, level spell. Or, sorry, a 4th level spell, but it does 2d6 every 2 levels or 4 levels, something like that. Huh. But regardless, uh, we are on to Haldor, who is currently webbed. Uh, I'm just saying, you could fireball yourself right now and fix both you and Toem. True. Yeah, fix the whole party. True. All grouped together, nice and tight. Oh no, no, no! He he just has to aim like over here, and it would hit both him and Toem and those guys. He still takes splash. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Just saying. It'd be the high IQ play, is all I'm saying. Mm. Sometimes I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and Haldor is a high IQ wizard. Exactly. Yeah. You see, yeah. like this is low effort, high results. Like this is this is an intellectual's dream right here. <laughs> yes. 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 As Haldor sticks his tongue out. Okay, what are you doing? Um, I, I, I like this brilliant plan that I totally came up with all by myself, and I will act it out. God. Uh, exactly. Okay, yes. well, you can start by rolling your spellcraft check. DC 18. Let's get the skill. And yeah, for my sheet, just give me a long list of everything that's wrong. I'll try to fix everything that I can, and then I'll send it back to you. Um, why Why don't you start by making a sixth level version of it, and then I'll fix it. Sure. <laughs> you just talked about low Sorry. effort, high uh, results. I... Sorry. 15. Sorry. Okay, uh, that would be a fail, so you lose your spell. Are you doing anything else? Excellent! He starts casting uh, his spell and cackling madly, and then his hands get all tangled, and he loses it. Uh, I'm just going to feel deflated while all netted up. Like, ah! Sad. <laughs> Cry. No. I'm done. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we're on to Elric. 
see how he is gonna five foot out. Cast rhinos, like rhinos rush on himself and charge up. Okay. He is plus two on the uh, charge because I don't have a macro for his charge. So I think that'll hit, right? Yep. And then the Rhino Rush lets him double his damage, so 20 points. Do they have DR? I don't believe so. They do not. Dead. Okay, then we are on to Aaron. Wyvern Extraordinaire, don't forget that you can also breathe fire. That is, I was actually about to ask, do I know what Haldor is trying to do? I don't know, you can roll a sense motive. Sense motive? Okay. Twenty-three. He was trying to fireball himself. Hmm. I could help him, and he did attack me before. Hmm. Now you might be wondering, did I plan this out of character when I offered them to do this? Hmm. I'm going to move back here, and I think it's a 30-foot cone, but I'm not going to get Toem because I don't think Toem would appreciate it. Um, anyway, you spray it, you're going to splash Toem. Oh, uh, uh... Uh... Fine, I'll just let him deal with it on his own. Um... Well, splash damage is only uh, six points, so it's not that bad. Six points? And it'll get rid of the webbing. But just give it to Haldor. Another thing we <laughs> can do is move, move over and uh, breathe on the Edder Cap and splash both of them. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he is a down, so I guess. Uh, what's the movement? What's the base movement? Not fly speed. Uh, There's no way that you'd be able to do it without landing. Okay, so I mean, yeah, I guess I would just move and I guess fly and then just land. Is that fair? Yep, just fly over to the other side so you can kind of breathe up on. Uh, oh yeah, I guess if you fly around to the other side, um, you could do it that way. Got to make sure you're at least thirty feet away from Tom and Haldor so you're not blasting them fully. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm still too close, so let's move it a bit further. And that's 30 feet to him, so I guess I'll do that. But you won't get held over with that. Um, that's fair. How about, how about this angle? Yep, that's perfect. Cool. Um, yeah, I will breathe the fire. Sixty-six. Uh, the editor cap is plus four. Hmm. Wow. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that max damage 60 oh no, it's been not it's, it's, it's definitely above average <laughs> yeah it's clearly above average okay uh so tome and haldor um the uh dragon breathes on you so you can roll your reflex save uh that's gonna get coming to splash my bed Poem isn't a splash, right? Yeah, that would easily pass on you. Does entangle make make it two less? Entangle reduces your dex by four. So, so yeah, it's so two less. It's half hit dice plus the con, right? So that would be a uh, fifteen. Oh well, then I still pass. Yeah. Okay. Well, they. Uh... Both manage to struggle out of uh, range and not take any damage from the fire. Well, I tried but, to help. 
<laughs> I'm sure they're both going to interpret it that way too. Uh, and the utter cap, uh, I rolled a 13 for his save, so he's obliterated. Nice. 